All right, fellas, this is uh, Robert Henry from the Survival Report, fellas and ladies. We're going to look at a, uh, a couple devices here today. Uh, we're going to go out in the, uh, in the field one of these next nights and uh, show you a little something, something about them. Uh, a couple of things most of y'all are probably familiar with, the PVS-14 3rd Gen uh, Night Vision Pinnacle Auto Gated. <clears throat> also here we have the FLIR Scout PS-24 unit. Uh, thermal imaging detector, a little bit different technology than the uh, than the PBS 14, which is image intensification. In other words, it takes uh, you know whatever the smallest amount of starlight, whatever that's out there, magnifies it so you can uh, so you can see in the dark. The uh, FLIR 24 PS 24 here is a heat detector. It's picking up uh, changes in uh, in variable temperatures and that uh, as small as I believe it's a tenth of a um, of a degree so in other words you know the human bodies out there the uh, you know if it's uh, 98.7 and you're 98.6 it's going to detect it that sort of thing and then showing another PBS 14 here as well that we are going to clip this little beauty to <clears throat> this little beauty right here is called a clip on thermal imager uh, Cody for short in this the acronym and what it is is this goes on the front of your PVS 14 and I'll install it and then we'll um, <clears throat> you find it here and then we'll show it to you in that as well too but um, a really neat unit in that this adds uh, thermal to your your uh, night vision picture from the uh, from the PVS 14 or you can also use it on a PVS 7 uh, you know, several different night vision units provided they are common military stuff. In other words, you're uh, cobbled together stuff from uh, ATN or, uh, uh, you know, uh, Chinwachu manufacturing in China or whatever, it probably won't work with. However, uh, standard military units like the, like the 14s and things like that, uh, it's not a problem to, uh, to work with. So I'm going to clip that on there and show you in just a second and then we'll take it in the field later. And here is the Coty, the clip-on thermal imaging unit, mounted on the PVS-14. And it's going to project a thermal image via that little piece right there to the view of the 14. So you'll have, you'll basically combine the image intensification of the PVS-14 with the thermal imaging unit to have what's called what's considered a fusion type setup thermal and night vision so it's nice because you can still do all your identification things in that like you do with the night vision but you're going to detect the heat and everything and you'll see this unit is pretty cool we were uh, testing one a few weeks back and you could pick up footsteps all right and we're field testing the Cody the clip-on thermal imaging unit uh, to include uh, coupled together with the uh, PBS 14 just to show you here first off this is uh, this is what you can expect with the naked eye you know uh, uh, this is how dark it is out tonight it's a uh, no moon out yet I don't think there is we might be in a new moon phase and uh, very little uh, residual cloud cover so there is some starlight out as well so here we are first off, coupled together with the PVS-14, and I don't have a camera coupler, I really need to get one. But uh, those are several medium-sized dogs at a range of, uh, oh, 40 to 60 yards out. You can make them out. Keep in mind, though, also it's uh, dead of winter, so these uh, grasses right here, this pasture, is is dead. Okay, so you can see them, but uh, if they were blending in with the shadows up there by those trees, like that one right there is. Let's see if I can zoom up. Uh, you couldn't make them out for 100% sure. It would still be a... Do you fire or do you not fire type of situation? So now we're going to add the, uh, we're going to show the unit with the clip on thermal imager on there. And I'm not trying to be gross with that or anything, but you could see where 
being able to detect that with the thermal image might tell you that somebody just stopped there for a second and what did you have? You had two footprints that came to a stop and then you had that. Okay. Uh, you could potentially track if you were um, relatively not that far behind somebody with this unit as well. This made it up a little bit better here. Okay, now we're back on white heat instead of black as the heat. You can change it. And if you look there, there is your forms coming about uh, 100, 150 yards away. And you can make out that there's uh, several dogs and a taller human and a shorter human. Again, the clip-on thermal imaging unit available from jrhenterprises.com. The Cody, the clip-on thermal imaging unit, used with your PBS-14, PBS-7, any uh, of the more common military models. If in doubt, just uh, email us and let us know the uh, model of the unit, night vision unit you have, and we'll uh, figure out for you if the Cody is compatible with that. Thanks for watching.